Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to play Jolly Blanc. This of course is a Cajun tune, in fact it's probably the most famous Cajun tune and has been considered the Cajun National Anthem. I'm going to give you a couple of versions, the first one just the basic melody and then we'll liven it up with some extra ornamentation. I had a very interesting conversation with Michael Doucet, the famed Cajun fiddle player and was very heartened when uh, he told me there's no such thing as pure Cajun and uh, so anything that we do to mess it up is to some extent uh, acceptable. <laughs> so um, I'm going to uh, attempt to put some proper Cajun ornamentation in but uh, we'll just see how it goes. So we'll start off with the basic melody and this is a 3-4 waltz and it goes here we go one two three So it's a pretty straightforward tune. The actual fine detail of the melody you will find is different in every single version that you listen to. So don't panic if you've heard it before and it doesn't sound quite the same. In fact when we do the next version with the ornamentation it will uh, change slightly in the melody as well. So let's hear the same thing but this time with some backing. is the same as you would do with um, any kind of old timey tune, um, adding drones. So your opening phrase you can do open A's and E's. And then for the melody on the E string you can put uh, A's underneath. And when you go to the A string, you can put open E drones above it. We're also doing some hammer-ons. And there's a lot of triplets in Cajun music. So any of the crotchets really can be a triplet. Um, second line. If you can do a fourth finger under the A, then that's good. So here we've got um, sixteenth notes. And another set of sixteenth notes. Fourth finger again. Keep that fourth finger all through those two bars. Fourth 
finger again. Triplet. Fourth finger. And for the E, you could put a B above it. Fourth finger. Fourth finger again. And then when we get to the end, that, that's if you're going to repeat, but if you're going to the end... That kind of broken ending is quite common. So, there's loads of different ways to ornament it, but this is just a, a sample giving you an idea of the kind of uh, ornamentation you would put on a Cajun waltz. When you listen to a lot of Cajun, you'll see that the, some of the ornamentation is very dense, and there's lots of it. And what you hear on commercial Cajun recordings or uh, Nashville interpretations of Cajun is often a gross oversimplification, but worth learning all, all the same. So I'll play once more through the ornamented tune with the backing, up to tempo. And uh, if you want a copy of the dots, then subscribe, send me an email, and I'll be very happy to send you a copy. And uh, don't forget to check out my interview with Michael Doucet, which I think you'll agree was very interesting. See you again soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.